that I'm budgeting our next topic. So the time's finally come. You've packed your bags, you're going to move out of home. So you've taken your trusted little mobile phone with you on your $60 a month plan. You've packed your car with all its associated expenses. And then you start to think, I need somewhere to live. Somewhere where I can rent when suddenly find this ad. So you've got, your, you've got your place to rent now and you start to think, I've got all these things, your mind turns to a holiday. And you start to think, how am I ever going to afford all this? Which brings to mind that maybe you need a budget. Start your budget. You take all the expenses you definitely know and you start to write them down. You start to list them. And you think, well, make up a budget for each month. So you start to look at what you've got and you find that you've now found a place you can rent and the rent is only $125 a week. So you times that by 52 and divide by 12 to get a monthly cost of $542. You know your phone already. Cool little phone, $60 plan a month. You're looking at your car and you're seeing that you've got your insurance to pay for. $1,200 divided by 12 gives you $100 a month for your car insurance. You've got your rego. $900 divided by 12 is $75 a month. And petrol. You're budgeting on a tank or so a fortnight. So you're thinking that's about $50 odd dollars times 26 fortnights and divided by 12 to give you $108 a month. You add all that up and you come up with $885. Then you start to think, what are my other expenses going to be? Basic budget down. You're thinking, what other expenses do I have? And that's when you head out, hit the internet, and find a bit of a general guide for budgeting. And you find this guide, which seems pretty sensible. And so you start off and you're starting a new job. It's not a bad job, it's your first job. And you're earning $35,000 per annum. Now you know that out of that $35,000 per annum, though, you're not going to see it all. And the government's going to take its fair share in tax, so it's going to take $6,880 in tax, you calculate. And then you think, but hold on, that's not all. There's also a Medicare that levy that has to come out of 1.5% and you calculate that and find $525 is going towards Medicare. So that's when you work out that out of your $35,000 you are going to be bringing home $27,595 per annum as your net pay. So, quickly dividing that by 12, you find out that works out to be pretty close to $2,300 per month. And so now you can start to do a little bit more budgeting. You start to have a look at some of the things down here. Hey, I've got my housing, my bills, my transports covered. What are some other things I like? And obviously I need food. I'm going to need food. It says 15% of the budget is for food. So you say, I'll take my food budget, I'll take my 15%. Of my net pay per month, 2300 and I'll calculate 15% of that. And I'll turn out to be that I really should budget about $345 a month for food. Okay. And obviously you start to think about that holiday and you're thinking, well, I really want to save for my holiday. And you see here that my savings... They say I should spend about 10% of my savings. So again, 10% of 2300 is going to mean I can save $230 per month for my holiday. So I've got this nice little guide. I can do my percentages. I can do my pay. I can work out from my net pay down to my monthly pay by dividing by 12. I can calculate my percentages. 
But let's have a look at another case. Let's have a look at someone like Steve. And let's say Steve, he's found this budget as well, and he's following his budget pretty closely. And so on housing, he is spending 30% of his salary. And he's paying for a week $230 per week for his rental accommodation. My question is, what is Steve's weekly pay? So what is Steve's weekly pay? We know 30% of the pay is $230. So what we're able to do from here is we're able to work out then what his full pay is, because his full pay is going to be 100%. So what we might do is use the unitary method and say, well, if 30% is equal to $230, I can find 1% by going 230 divided by 30, 30 divided by 30 gives me 1%, and I'll find that, that is $7.67. And then I'll find 100%, I'll multiply that by 100, and I'll find out that his weekly pay is $766.67. You can see we rounded up earlier on. So that unitary method can be used here to calculate the weekly pay. So you sit down and you start to think about this thing, well, yep, I might move out of home. I might find myself somewhere to rent. I might even get on my holiday one day. Now, all because my math teacher taught me wisely how to budget. <laughs>